For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to App Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm you guys a bit of a review video on a windbreak from Outdoor Revolution. So with me here today I've got the Outdoor Revolution Quanto Compact Windbreak range. So with me I've got the um, sort of the Compact 4 and the Compact 3. Now previously the Pontos have kind of been in a model a range for a couple of years of Outdoor Revolution and we've seen it evolve as it goes forward. Nothing changes in terms of that sort of idea for 22. So we've got essentially a Compact 4 and the Compact 3. So they've kind of actually got rid of the, the Ponto 4. Differences being is that actually it's a bit smaller, it's packs down a bit smaller as well and keeps it under a meter, which is quite crucial for sort of packing it away nice and easily. But in terms of sizes, it also has been a little bit of a tweak. So we see the Compact 4, uh, each panel is 125 and 125. So you've got uh, initial length of 5 meters in the whole entirety, four panels as the name suggests, and a 125 height. We've got two windows built into the sort of middle section as well to get a bit more clarity. Whereas we compare it to say the Compact 3. Compact 3 is three panels, each panel is 120. So again, 120 width by 120 height. So marginal differences between the two. Uh, and also being only three panels, it means your total length is 360. They do actually have a slightly different fabric for each model as well. So the 4 has uh, a 240 HD material whereas the 3 has 120 HD material. So what we're looking at here is about a 150D versus a 75 denier. So a little bit of a difference in between. Both are very quick and easy to pitch, and we've done a separate pitching and packing video showing you how simple it really is to pitch. I think it took myself best part of four minutes, five minutes, not even that really to pitch them. Uh, and it's quite a bit more easy. It's easier to see the concept of how it goes up as well. Essentially, there's no real poles to feed apart from two end poles. You push, pop the pop the shell out, and it kind of crosses over. So it's it's quite a, a, a decent system. And one thing it does allow you to do is get a good amount of stability in the awning uh, in the kind of windbreak itself, or your reliance guide points pulling it out. And then you've got an internal space you can do what you want with it. The panels itself can be dead straight, or you can have it kind of arced like I have here to create that little bit of enclosure. And again, because you've got no internal guy ropes. You haven't got to worry about putting furniture or stepping over guide points as you come in. You can really make that nice snug enclosure. One of the new things for 22 is that they've actually removed the sleeves in the middle section and the poles go vertically. Just because they're actually that robust, there's not really much need for them. So you've only got poles necessarily in either end just to give a bit of stability when obviously it comes to an end panel. What you find is there's sort of two ends to the spike, so there's a shorter spike and a bigger spike. The bigger spike goes into the ground to give you a bit of obviously traction uh, and keeps it in place, while a little spike goes, uh, an eyelet goes over the top of it, secures it nice to the windbreak and then you guy out from there. So that's pretty much the same with the whole kind of Pronto range. We've got reinforced apartments on the side and there's also a beading, a cater beading on both sides of the awning. So you can feed it directly into a caravan awning if you want to. Failing that, you can actually connect two together. So there's no reason you couldn't connect, say, the, the Compact 4 with the Compact 3, even though necessarily they're slightly different heights. Just by buying an additional kind of uh, figure of eight, you slide it on, connect the two together, and it kind of creates that whole kind of nice section. What we'll do is let's pick the camera up and kind of get a bit more of a kind of a feel for both the windbreaks as they sit now. As it happens, I've kind of got a bit more of the range. There's a new of the um, PC version of the 4, uh, which you can, if you wanted that kind of polycotton fabric, that's a really nice kind of addition there. Like I said, solid kind of in terms of structure. You can probably see the poles from the inside, and it kind of bows out a little bit as we see. So looking at the 4 initially at the moment, four panels, you've got the kind of internal poles, which are fiberglass, so really nice and strong, tight as a drum. You've got the cader bit onto there as well. So like I said, that's the connect onto an, uh, the awning or as you see fish and then you've got the spike quite nice and neatly but it's worth noting how low it sits to the ground actually it's going to help you kind of keep your dogs or kids for that matter from escaping too fair but again any shape or size you can pretty much go for it kind of works really nicely but those sort of windows give you a great bit of sight on the inside as we head to the compact free same kind of idea Three panels, like I said, a touch lower, not that you can really tell from the height, looking from both one to another. Just a central window in between the sections, but still the same features with the cader and the parts 
on either side. So they've really thought about it, and again, it sits really nicely low to the ground. So it's quite a nice concept. Something we found was kind of very popular uh, for the 2021 season. Like I said, going into 22, you've got a little bit more scope with you can kind of um, almost have a four and a three added together. Lots of, um, obviously, a bit of a nicer material. Smaller pack size as well, which I think is quite crucial, especially with kind of the um, the four, which was a little bit longer, about one meter ten. So just getting a little bit shorter means it's easier, certainly, to transport and deliver from our side of point of view. But it didn't really matter it being that much higher. I think for what they've done, I think it's a really nice job. For more information on either of these two windbreaks, you're welcome to check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through to our website where we got the prices, the spec, the dimensions, the pack sizes, all those bits and bobs for you there, as well as our pitching video that we've done to kind of show you how simple it really is. And by all means, let us know what you think of the windbreaks, whether you've got one, whether you've experienced with one. It's always great to have good feedback or bad feedback for the matter. We can always pass it on to the manufacturer itself. But for the time being, that is kind of our little video review on the updated uh, Compact Pro 4 and the Compact Pro 3 windbreaks from Outdoor Revolution. Hopefully we'll see you again soon.